Hello, my friends. This is Kim. I have a simple dessert here that you can make for Thanksgiving. If you're on a diet, you can eat it and have something that tastes like pumpkin pie. It's a pumpkin mousse. Four simple ingredients. I have in this bowl two cups of pumpkin, which is equivalent to about one can of the pumpkin, not the pumpkin pie filling, but the regular pumpkin you get in the grocery store. So there is two cups in here. I love pumpkin pie spice, so I put a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice in here. If you're not as fanatical as I am about it, you could probably use half, but I, I adore pumpkin pie spice. So first thing I'm going to do real quick is just mix these two things together to get that spice in there. Now, when I mix this up, I was thinking for myself, I would take a portion out and I would put it into a container and it would be like two points for me. If you put it into a graham cracker crust, nobody's going to know that it's a quote diet food because it's so delicious that you could get away with bringing this as a dessert with you if you're going somewhere on Thanksgiving. The next thing I'm going to add is one package of sugar-free pudding. Now, if I could have found it, I would have used the cheesecake um, type like this, but they didn't have any in my store. So I'm just using plain vanilla. But the cheesecake would really make it taste good. So I'm just going to add that to my bowl. We're going to mix that up in there. Honestly, you could stop here if you wanted to. But we're going to take this up even more because what goes better with pumpkin than whipped topping, right? So I have a container of light whipped topping. Okay, so I'm going to take my whisk out for a minute because I don't want to um, take all the air out of the whipped cream. I mean, I don't know how much there is in this stuff, but... It's very rare I don't use like the stuff in the, the aerosol stuff because that's what I prefer. But I saw this recipe and I am sorry, I have no clue where I saw it. I think somebody shared it in my Connect group, my Weight Watchers Connect group. And of course I had to make it because all I needed was this whipped topping stuff. And now I'm just going to fold this in to my pumpkin. That makes it really light. It gives you all the flavors of the way I like pumpkin pie. And it's so many less calories. I don't have any clue what a graham cracker crust would add to it. Maybe I'll look it up and mention it at the end here. In a, I'll put it on. Maybe I'll, I'll try to put it in the uh, description box. But I mean, really. The entire container of Cool Whip stuff, not, it's not the actual brand, but you know what I'm saying. This particular container was 13 points for the entire container. And the, um, the pudding mix, as it is, is only 4 to 5 points. So it's good. And now all I have to do is let it set. And I would eat this in, in half cup servings. So I think your points are going to be lower. But I will give you the exact numbers in just a few minutes when I put it in my, my Weight Watchers calculator and figure it out. But come on, wouldn't that look pretty on in a pie shell? It, you could take with you and just tell them it's a nice pumpkin mousse. I'm going to give it a quick taste. My sassy dog wants a carrot. So, anyway, this is my quick and easy, low point Weight Watchers dessert that I am going to make for Thanksgiving this year. I hope you enjoyed this quick recipe and you guys have a wonderful day.